These Chinese tanks are extremely rare in World of Tanks, but today I will show you what these beasts are capable of, including a battle where we did close to 12,000 damage. In this first game, we are playing the 113, which is a tank you can buy for 6.1 million credits after you have unlocked any of the tier 10 Chinese tanks. The 113 has insane firepower and works best at close range, so we start off by driving to this valley. And watch, because this first scenario quickly turns into an intense 1v3 fight. Oh yeah, the E4 keeps pushing. First, it's very important to finish the E4 as he's a one-shot, and right after that we can turn our attention to the mouse. And whenever you're getting pushed by a mouse, the best thing you can do is to hug his side, auto-aim and just keep moving so he has no chance to shoot you in the cupolas. As the Chieftain Proto is approaching, I have to get to his other side, because otherwise he's going to be able to shoot me. The 113 has incredible DPM and coupled with the Alpha 440, it shreds opponents apart like no other. But before I show you how this insane battle ends, let's hear a bit about our brand new revolutionary game, Hyper Fever. And game maker Crayplay invites you to play Hyper Fever. Critics call it the most mobile of all mobile games. Build a unique character from our preset warlords in the only real-time card strategy MMO. I know, I know, Hyper Fever seems too good to be true. Well, that's why I partner with Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a super in-depth RPG battle system along with vibrant graphics coupled with intense PvE boss battles. You will find loads of different champions, and my personal favorite is the Sun Harvester, Heli. Raid continues to get bigger and better with live arena PvP. Raid's letting you duke it out against other players live, picking and banning champions before dueling to determine the ultimate warrior. Live arena is also bringing some awesome rewards too. I'm talking new artifact sets, fragments for a legendary void champion, and special live arena crests that unlock powerful new bonuses at the Great Hall. And if it is not enough, there's more new champions, season 8 of the Forge Pass, and Easter themed events alongside a bunch of other things. For all you Amazon Prime members out there, don't miss out on your final drop to help power up your champions. This April, Raid is going on an egg hunt. Check egghunt.plarium.com to win amazing in-game items and Amazon gift cards. New players, use my link or scan the QR code right here and get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot. Come find me in-game, join my clan and we'll be legends together. So just hit the link in the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. I am a two-shot and he has more than 2000 HP and the only way you can get him is a double track. Pretty sure I have the reload, man, unless he has adrenaline rush. Always keep looking at your minimap, especially after such tough situations. Look at that gorilla, dude. He has around 13 seconds reload, but now he's also stunned, so I have to get him fast. Check this out guys, we have racked up 8000 damage and the enemy still has around 8000 too. How is this battle going to end? I don't know how we did 8k here. No man, why do they already always ruin those battles man? This battle was nothing compared to this one however, the enemy was not ready for the Chinese Blitzkrieg. Should I go up? Yeah, why not, dude? I see that the enemies are making their way up the hill, so I decide to help my team out, as this is the easiest way to win fast. Let's just push those AMXs. Oh, what the f That guy should for that. Come on, man. Guys, the Leo is not allowed to do that, bro. The reason I'm turning my tank to the sideways like this is very simple. The 113 has much more gun depression when the gun is facing the sides, so you need to know this in case you decide to get the tank after the video. Look at the reverse speed. 24, coming in clutch, we get another shot at the Canar, but maybe even track him. No, it's fine. Maybe he's gonna get greedy and actually stop there. Oh yeah, he does. Nice. 
Am I using the reticle mod? No. I think it's bad. When you're playing a tank, which is shit gun handling like this, you will tend to just be lazy. And just uh, not even aim so many of the shots that you should be fully aiming. They have an FVTD though. Just be careful. PTA goes in. You have to go, man. The PTA ran. I learned to like shooting AP shells on this tank. FE fired. To actually be careful, they still have a lot of HP here. Fired both, that's good. I'm gonna go for the PTA. <laughs> yeah, boy! 8,000 damage in 5 minutes, not bad, but you will not believe this next game ever did a damage record. The second rare tank of this video is the 114 SP2. I made a lot of videos about this tank back in the day, but it is basically a reward that you could get in ranked battles. It has insanely high DPM, 650 alpha, a very accurate gun at the cost of having no armor at all, along with a huge profile. We are playing with the Giga Gamer, Agent Crow, and he's scouting for us. Let me show you just how quick this thing can rack up damage. Nice, finally man. This tank really does feel like the gorilla, man. In terms of not hitting anything when you're fully aimed. I think there's a guy there? Nope. Maybe on the left side. He's in 5 is speaking, but doesn't really want to go all that aggressive. Look at that pixel chat. If he hit this pixel, dude. <laughs> okay, bro. I don't think there's anything there, man. Let's go mid, man, if you want. this. We can't really do shit. Here. The Tianda is there, which means he's cut off from the middle, man. You can you can get in through the middle and he's not gonna be able to do shit about it. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna aim for you. Oh, what? Okay, that's... That's weird. Who does Boshe? I think they're gonna push this side as well soon. Oh. Dude, I will try to go up, man, because we need to support this side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get closer so I can support Agent. Oh. Saves too. Nice. Since the enemy lightning is no more, Agent can just spot the middle freely and we can continue racking up damage. Got the gorilla. Can I shoot the FE from here? What do you think? I actually have an angle, wait. <laughs> This guy is blinding. Where's the FP? Oh. <laughs> Can we get another one? <laughs> no way! I've spotted me, bro. You should descend. I'm gonna kill this FE, bro. Will be one more shot. I thought I was completely safe, and with so much damage stacking up, I stopped checking my surroundings. And if I saw that the E50M got spotted behind me, I would have bailed instantly. No, 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 man, you yolo the E50. No, man, why would you do that, E50M? Dude, we have 11k. This is like a what, a 900 alpha HE? I rolled him for 765, man. Yes! <laughs> this battle was great, but nothing can prepare you for the next one, where we got into a super tight situation. Just watch, and you will see what I'm talking about. We start off by coming to the middle here to trade with some of their medium tanks. 
Jeez, man, there's so many of them. Nice. Got the lion, bro. Not great, honestly. And they removed the boost from here. Wait, did they? Driving up here is a great way to quickly join the next flank or even go through here to be able to shoot the enemies in the side. Okay. <laughs> did you guys know about this? It, it is very useful, man. Oh, you, my boy. You're about to be in a lot of trouble, dude. FTD lost all his HP, there's a 907. Why is he pushing here, mate? Huh? <laughs> I like how he didn't realize he had no gun depression. Oh, the mouse is on the other side, dude. Oof. Not a good trade, man. I think we have to support the other side. We have to support this side. Mouse, forceful HP. You should run agent, I think. Come, you can come to us if you want. You can, you can be annoying to them. Shoot them in the side or something, dude. Yeah, the mouse is pushing. Okay, this is looking good. This could hurt. Oh man, he got so lucky with the heavy, bro. Okay, lol. What? Dude, can you kill him? F is gonna prank from behind, probably. Can you go for the for the push if he's there? Okay, he moved. Where's the EBR? I have to shoot the EBR, man. Oh man. I can't really help you, man. I can't really see him. I'm waiting for the CBR to fuck up, man, so I can kill him. That was very important. Nice. Where's the F thing? Nice. Dude, we can go for the Udes. Let's not get hit by the 114. He's got 650 alpha, so potentially could kill us. Where's the Udes? Five hours later. I guess he, I guess at minute three we could try to bait the cap. You could just sit behind the, that, that rock there and they would have to YOLO you, man. And I can spot them if they cross here all the time. I, I, I will spot them, you know? Only thing that would fuck me is that if they come mid, then I can't really do much, man. Because the Udes will always outreload me. <laughs> oh my god, man. You Is he FK? What the f*** is wrong with this guy? They're just base camping. Easy win, dude. I tried to see if I can get down quickly to finish the 114, but the angle is too steep and I decide against it. Should we? No. Too risky, man. Then I go and check to see if I can shoot them on the approach. I am in a very bad situation and the positions aren't great, so I try to use this mighty Chinese structure to save me from the wrath of the enemy. I was sure that the 114 would use this opportunity to peek, but he's nowhere to be found and I kinda get anxious about his whereabouts. Hmm. Where's the other guy, bro? Probably in the mid now. Here. I couldn't really avoid that, honestly. Don't tell me the other guy is camping. Don't tell me the other guys. Holy man. Oh, 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 oh. I, I was gonna go behind him at first, but I was like, what if he just camps in the same position he was, man? Now let me show you guys how you can win Malinovka in 4 minutes. The single most important factor here is to take the windmill. This allows you to control the pace of the fight and deny the enemy the positions from which they can farm your team. This guy is playing. Oh yeah.
Damn, bro. With AP as well. Pretty sure he's mad now. Yeah, already fired. Oh, this, this 277 is absolutely paper, by the way. You guys coming back again. 501. Well deserved, man. Uh, well, now we're gonna have a hull down here. I think we can all get one more on that guy. Oh, yeah. 535. Look at that. One more. Yeah, it's fine. There's the mouse there. Wow. We only have one Yak Panzer. We can probably pick this mouse. Not really care. Shoot him there. Oh yeah, I like I like this. I like this setup quite more than the HP. The gun really does suffer a lot, man. Oof. Let's knife the cupola of the mouse, guys. Oh man, that was so close too, bro. There you go. There's the mouse, man. Sayonara. They have a Yak Panzer completely unspotted yet, though. We don't know where he is. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> Did you see how much we had to aim there? That already gamer there. Not even trying to run. There's the Yak Panzer. Ah man, look at that. I kinda wanna play the WZ5A though. I think it's quite a, quite a bit of a better tank. Look at those high rolls, man. Crazy. There's the Progetto. What? Easy. <laughs> Remember this game, man, because they are not gonna have another game like this for a long time, dude. Sir Hool is an incredibly huge supporter of my streams. By the way, check out my live streams, they are pretty fun. Anyway, he was so I was struggling with the 113 death session and told me he'd donate 50 euros if I did 9k combined damage. But can we do it? I hope there's gonna be someone here, bro, at least. It, though. Is he alone? Looks like. There's the Yanda. Thanks, man. Good shot. We should push that guy. That's a no-brain. Oh, that's the Yakuza. Just fire. Thank you, homie. What is the gorilla doing, guys? We have to go for mouse, man. Oh, come on, boy. Okay. Oh, I'm so, I'm so bad. Why do I shoot that like that, bro? That was lazy, man. Huh? I still on fire, man. There's the Yakpanzer, though. We have successfully cleared out this side. The DPM and the penetration of this tank makes quick work of anything at close range. You must know that the 113 isn't that amazing at longer ranges due to the poor gun handling though. By it's 7 man. They need a little bit more. I think we have to go back to the base. Through the bridge even. Yeah, they, we're gonna get cap sense capping. They have the double Honda though. Definitely enough damage. <gasps> oh man. What? What are they doing? Fired. We have to go for this guy here. To get a decap soon. Let's kill this guy though. His friend is shooting H E only. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. Okay. Why why are they both up? Dude, I'm confused. Oh, it went too low. Nice, he's dead. Let's go for the Honda, man. 
Oh. They're gonna cap, man. Come on, bro. Don't cap. Mission. I have a mission to do 8k damage, man. Oh, yes. Get over here, bro. There you go. There you go. Look at the arty, man. <laughs> there you go. Now let's take a stroll on my favorite map, Westfield, with the 114. First, I come here to shoot the crossing as it is super painful to dig enemies out from that ditch. Wow, what a shot, dude. Look at that guy. Thanks, mouse. This type likes to trade, man. But I can't really afford much more trades, dude. The mouse doesn't look like he cares much when there are people in front of him. Oh well. Chill. <laughs> oh, the type 5 is not happy, man. Okay, nice. Types down, good. We have to go for the 50 TP. This guy's also in the open, by the way. We can try the left side here, where the badger is. I think the 50 TP just fired. Might have a shot here. Nice. Wait, we have an angle on the E4 there. Behind. Where's the Leo? He might make a mistake now. And expose. Oh. Oh, man, that actually missed. Okay, let's kill the Leo, man, I guess. Oh, I'm gonna get killed by the Skoda now. Possibly even die. He was there. Yeah, I'm probably dead here actually. He's got he's got the stock. No, he's got the he's got the auto loading gun. That was weird though. You can go underneath. I mean the grid is not gonna kill you. You can just proxy this guy, he was there. Okay. Is he gonna get baited for you? Nice! You have no ammo left? Okay. What do we do now man? I'll go here and hide behind bush and I can shoot. I'm probably gonna have enough camo to do this. I hope Shkoda doesn't know yet, bro. Oh, there's a wreck here. Oh my god, that's really bad, bro. Got him. Didn't even spot me, bro. Now spotting the gorilla should be easy, no? <laughs> <laughs> nice, look at that. Brothers in arms, man. We won that. He did, you did 4k damage, damn. In this match, we are playing the 113 again, and the only position that works on this entire map for heavies is here. It is super rewarding when it comes to dealing damage, but also has its downsides, which you will see very soon. Peeking here with the 113 is harder, since you are very long and have huge cupolas, you don't want to side scrape here. So the only choice you have is to try and side peek here, but even that proves to be difficult. With other tanks, this is a lot easier. Oh, shit. Guys pushing. I can't. I'm too long, man. I'm sorry, dude. I'm too long, man. I'm sorry, bro. I can't really do anything about it. I don't know why the 279 YOLO there. Oh, we can actually make this guy uncomfortable here. Oof. Boom! We actually lost the zero line, man. That's uh, not great, bro. Should I go for the 705 chat? Yeah, but how can we go for him? I'm gonna go. F I'm gonna try and go for him. I have not done this so far. But I don't think you can do anything in the city, man. I've never done this before. Like, going for those guys from here. Watch out for FE. I need to watch out indeed. Uh, I don't think he's up there, is he? <laughs> Surely he's not gonna one shot us from there yet. Surely, right? Surely. Not at least we're safe, dude. 
But poor guy, in your opinion, 1 to 1 or 5A? I think the 1 to 1 is the goated, man. 5A is probably easier to play, though. New players, I would recommend the uh, S Kong, IS4, those two men, probably, for heavies. For medium tanks, probably the E50M, actually. Nice, good job for just. Ooh, fat one. Have to be careful about the FETD, dude. FETD, huh? The FIFA actually getting pushed. Probably will get picked by the FA. The Chieftain was a one shot, and I was holding the angle for the center and AX so he could go for the Chief and finish him as he had more than enough HP. Yet for some reason he never went for it, eventually making me lose a shot of HP and he also died in the process, leaving me all alone against three guys. In these situations, the best thing you can do is to try and isolate your opponents before the others catch up. In this case, the choice was obvious. I had to push the Udes. The Chief has a lot more penetration as the Udes and he could just pull back after picking me, so I had to get him first. Oh, he tracks me, man. No, man, he tracks me. Ready for another great 114 round? Let me show you what this thing can do in a close range scenario once again. We start off by aiming for agent spot and we do get quite a lot out of it early on. It is almost worth it to stop in this position and aim for the field. You'll get a lot of damage. <laughs> Kong just got one shot basically. Oh. Ooh. Big shot man. We actually getting capped bro by the PZ. Oh. Nice. Oh. Nice. See, the shots are pretty meaty and we have like 10 second reload time. So I need to be careful about those. Uh, I'm getting spotted here. You can go all the way and they just perma spot. Yeah, there. Nice. Try and shoot this guy here, the BZ. There. <laughs> Should probably go for this guy here. Oh boy. And it's really, really slow. That's the only thing, other thing I would say. Bad. Nice. Okay, he's dead. Oh, the EBR is YOLOing now. I'm aiming for the EBR, dude. Oh my god, man. This guy pushed me. That moment too low. Bro, this is bad, man. We need to try to get a little bit closer as we're winning the game. That's not cool. Now why would you do that deep for? Okay, we are. Nice. Hope my team's gonna try and activize themselves. I can maybe kill the the lion. <gasps> no, bro, where's my team? Agent, can you kill him, bro? Oh! No way, bro! <laughs> oh, yeah. Artie's, Artie's here, Agent. Where's the object? Where's the object? Can you spot him? You can? Okay. See, BR. For some reason I had my turret lock sideways and while talking about my teammates and checking them out, to my dismay, this happened. 
Unfortunately, our team managed to lose it following a couple of misplays from them. But can we win this next round on Himmelsdorf? This turned out to be quite close, quite fast. Going 8 line when there is a mouse in the enemy team is always a good idea. But you have to be quick with your reactions as this is mostly going to be cupola sniping. Since this is an encounter, most of their team will be on the hill, so it's usually safe to push up all the way as it opens up better shots at the mouse. He's a Giga Gamer, man. I see we are losing the hill, so I already plan my game ahead. We have to get this mouse fast out of the picture and then we have to push them from behind. Did we farm 2.7k off that guy? Wait, he was fast enough to go back? Unfortunately, the VZ knows his strengths and eclipses him for 1000. This will be super important later on. And the mouse can take the shot here. It's actually an interesting battle. Oh, the Rhino left already. Look at the Rhino go, man. Look, look how fast that guy is. Minus IS-7. have to go for the cap anyway. Best. Can the mouse get up the hill? <laughs> Three on the cap, they have one minute. Not even the Rhino in the cab. I see the Rhino is peeking the window, so I wait until he clips out on our IS-7 and I cross to reset the base. I overangle my side and it pans me, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I lower all the Titan and get finished straight after. I couldn't win, but we still did some nice damage. Oh. <laughs> no way, man.